Hey everyone, today's video will be about the Huion Canvas RDS220 display tablet. For those who don't know, a display tablet is a digital art device that lets you use a stylus to interact directly on the screen. The target market for this is mainly for artists looking to transition from a traditional drawing media to a digital one. And for digital artists who use a regular pen tablet and are looking to take the next step up. Having used an Intuos 4 pen tablet for years and years, I've always been quite envious of the display tablet folks. But until the last few years, it seemed that the Wacom Cintiqs had a stranglehold on the market and they were very pricey. So the barrier to entry for me was quite high. But brands like Huion and XP Pen have made huge leaps forward and in my opinion they've caught up and are not only offering comparable products but also more affordable ones, like literally half the price. I snapped this thing up for $950 New Zealand which is about $585 US. A comparable Cintiq costs a whopping $1900 New Zealand dollars which is about $1150 USD right now, so yeah. This one in particular caught my eye as it wasn't an overly big screen but it's got great pixel density at 200 pixels per inch that's quite good for a 21.5 inch screen this video is not sponsored i purchased the rds 220 out of my own pocket so everything i have to say is purely my own opinion with that out of the way let's get started the RDS220 comes in a hefty box with all the necessities and includes a stand, the pen and pen holder as well as the cables needed to operate the device and also a glove which avoids getting body oils on the screen. So right out of the gate you've got basically everything you need. The stand is easy to attach and sturdy, it allows for a decent range of angles from 20 degrees to 80 degrees and once attached the screen has rubber feet at the bottom to provide a solid placement. I'm using the factory stand myself and although I have considered putting it on a arm, um, I find it uh, easy to use as it is. For those who do plan to use it as a single monitor though, I think it would be a good idea to put it on an arm. The screen is a 21.5 inch 2.5 QHD 8-bit screen with an advertised 145% sRGB coverage. What they mean by that is that it's got full coverage of the sRGB gamut and 45% beyond which doesn't really mean a whole lot in practice. It's got a 60Hz refresh rate with an anti-glare etched glass and a fully laminated screen. It's a textured screen and they are aiming for the pencil on paper feel. I describe it more like a plastic on slightly textured plastic, but to me that's not really all that important. The maximum brightness is 220 nits and boasts a contrast ratio of 1200 to 1, which is a decent amount for an IPS. It connects to the computer via a HDMI splitter plug that joins into the two USB-C ports on the display. One USB-C port though is only for charging. It also has a USB 3.1 port that acts as a pass-through so you can connect peripherals into the display which is nice to have. Aside from that you get your usual menu and navigation buttons which are at the top for any setting calibration. The stylus is incredibly light compared to the one on my Intuos 4. It's got a rubber grip and your typical two button layout. It feels good to hold and use. It's completely battery free thanks to the Wacom patents no longer gatekeeping this technology and comes with a holder to store it when not in use. The holder can open up and in there you'll find plenty of replacement nibs with both standard and felt nibs. So that's really awesome to have and definitely made to last a while. The colors are accurate once calibrated and I've got it to match my LG C2 fairly well. I found them to be a bit too cool in the tone out of the box but this is typical for displays and I think any serious artist should calibrate their display if they can. The contrast ratio of 1200 to 1 is slightly above average for an IPS display uh, but there is no comparison between this and my LG C2 OLED. But for its purpose I have no problem with it and it's plenty enough to do what I need it to do. By the way if you want to see my review on the LG C2 you can find it over there. The 60Hz refresh rate is also enough but it would have been great to see the screen be at least 100Hz but that would have been a trade-off in terms of affordability. So with that considered, I'm satisfied at this price point. Pen accuracy is really good, 
much better than I expected. My experience is with the iPad, so it's always going to be hard to match up against it. Compared to my 2017 iPad, which is a 120Hz screen, the trade-off is a bit less fluency. The Huion in comparison feels slightly less responsive and that could be more due to the refresh rate on the iPad but honestly this isn't something I'd notice unless I was comparing them directly. I have not had any issues with the Huion. I use the RDS220 for all my hands-on tasks. The transition from a standard pen tablet to this was very quick since I've been a user of the pen tablet for many years. The buttons and the workflow stays mostly the same. The only difference is that now I can directly draw on the screen and this has several benefits. It feels more natural and tactile and allows for a more intuitive way of working. Although I got used to it over the years, there is a sense of awkwardness drawing on a tablet while you're looking somewhere else and that goes goes away completely with the RDS220. Sketching becomes more accurate, it takes less effort to get the strokes how I wanted them, and you quickly get lost in your work as you would with traditional media like pencil and paper. This isn't limited to 2D either, 3D sculpting and modeling and also 3D texturing has the same benefits. I also utilize the RDS220 when I'm video editing, especially during the cutting and coloring stages. It also serves as a good second display, so I use it for that purpose often. The perfect sidekick for the RDS220 is a software controller like my Tourbox Neo, which I also have a review on here if you're interested. The shape and size means I can get close to the action without the keyboard being in an awkward place, and I can set up all the buttons I need to get lost in my work. The Huion RDS220 has become a welcome purchase for me. After years of craving a display tablet and not being able to afford one, Huion have managed to come up with an excellent product that lets digital artists like me into the market that was previously too expensive. And the best part about it is that they have not compromised on quality. This is one of my favorite purchases and has been everything I had hoped for it to be. When I'm not getting lost in my work drawing on it, it becomes a very handy second monitor. I highly recommend it to those who have been waiting for an affordable large display tablet like me. The screen size, the resolution, the battery free pen are all excellent and while it would have been great to have a higher refresh rate, I have no problems trading that for an affordable and solid product. Thank you for making it this far and I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support and if you're not, I hope you'll consider subscribing. By the way, if you would like to support me directly to allow for more videos like these, consider buying me a coffee. I've put the link in the description. That's it for now and I'll catch you in the next one.